Hey Libra, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are here to do a general reading for your sign today. That being said, of course, this isn't a personal reading for you. This is just a general reading for the sign of Libra. This may resonate with you and if it does, that's awesome. That means that the cards are speaking directly to you today. If it doesn't, that's okay too. It's just not your reading and it's just not what's going on in your life. Um, don't leave comments that say this reading doesn't resonate with me because I'll just delete them so everybody else on the board doesn't think that you're a complete moron. So this may or may not resonate with you. Um, also check your other signs because your sun sign, which today's Libra, is how you receive information. Your moon sign is how you feel about that information. It's how you process it. And your ascending sign is how you spit it back out again. Your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. There's a link in the box below where you can go to a website, download your astro chart, and check all of that out for yourself. Um, personal readings for 40 bucks, you can hook it up at TaurusStarTarot.com. A reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation. 45 minutes to an hour of one-on-one -on -one time with me, the cards, on the phone. And um, we'll do a personal reading just for you. Um, I, I've been told that my personal readings are too, too cheap. But you know what? I don't care. 40 bucks for my YouTube subscribers. Um, that's all. So yeah, stay tuned after this reading for a public service announcement about ads on YouTube. Might learn something, might know it, might not, but um, it's it's I think it's interesting. So stand by for a PSA at the end of this reading. All right, Libra, let's get to the point. You enter into this reading with the Two of Pentacles, seeking um, stability. Feeling stability, prioritization and stability in your life with the King of Wands following it, success, right? Seeking stability and success in your life in regards to the Two of Cups, in regards to a relationship, okay? A committed relationship with the Hierophant right there on top. Ten of Swords comes in and says that you are going to get this stability by putting things to an end. This is an inevitable end. And the Four of Pentacles comes in and says that you're doing it, um, <coughs> excuse me, out of self-defense, self-protection, right? Protecting yourself. You feel that putting this relationship to an end is the only way that you can protect yourself. What comes next is the Fool. You are about to have a new beginning and a new journey in your life with the Princess of Cups. This is a, a creative new beginning in your life. Eight of Cups says you are absolutely walking away from this relationship. Queen of Wands comes in. You could be walking away from a fire sign or you could be just simply absolutely determined to walk away and put an end to this relationship because you, my friend, are in search of the Nine of Cups. You are in search of happiness and satisfaction and and wishes fulfilled in your life and this relationship just isn't cutting it for you look cutting it hot huh? speaking of cutting it the queen of swords says you're cutting things out you're cutting it out you are leaving somebody out in the cold and despite the anxiety and you know the 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 thinking about it a lot um, and maybe it keeping you up at night, you are putting an end to everything with the death card. Because you see this as currently the only way that you are going to have control, security, establishment, and structure in your life is to be without this relationship. Because you are in pursuit of the manifestation of a new opportunity for yourself. The Ten of Cups, you are seeking harmony in your life. You're seeking harmony in your relationships and you want happiness and values alignment, right? Prince of Cups comes in and, and tells me that you, you want to be somebody's knight in shining armor, right? Not this person's knight in shining armor, but you definitely want to be somebody's knight in shining armor. Or if this isn't about a relationship for you, right? If this isn't about a love relationship, this could, this Prince of Cups right here could be you um, seeking a knight in shining armor type of relationship 
partnership engagement with somebody else, something that is the answer to prayers, right? You're in the hang mad mode thinking about all of this um, because you haven't executed the decision right here, right? You are you are thinking about all of this right here, right? You're in the hang mad mode and you're you're contemplating. You're contemplating and reevaluating. Um, you are pausing, you're surrendering, you're processing all of this right here, right? Prince of Swords comes in and says, now, now. You're about to tell somebody. Now you're about to tell somebody that you are out. You're on your way. You are starting a new journey. You're starting a new beginning. You are walking away either with determination or from a fire sign or both from a fire sign with determination, right? That you are cutting this out of your life. You are leaving somebody out in the cold. You are putting an end to it despite your feelings of anxiety about the situation. Judgment comes in. Here you go. This is the execution of all of this. This is the execution of this decision, right? This judgment card is a decision that is going to change the trajectory of your life. Five of cups. Moving on. You are so moving on. Libra, you are so moving on from a love relationship because you have absolute crystal clear mental clarity about where you want to go and what you want to do. The sun card comes in and says you know what's going to make you happy and you see things for the first time in a long time crystal freaking clear. Six of Swords comes in and says that you are taking a, ne a regretful but necessary transition into a new phase in your life. Nine of Pentacles comes in and says you have a sense of self-sufficiency and that there is a culmination to this situation. Four of Swords comes in, says now you can rest, relax, and recuperate from the mental battle that you went through right here, hence the Nine of Swords. Temperance comes in and says that you see a purpose for your life. You now have balance, moderation, and purpose in your life. There you go, Libra. That is your reading. I know it's crazy short, but it is just so to the point. It doesn't just, it just doesn't get any more crystal clear than this. Um, you know, you, you, you're looking for balance and prioritization in your life. You're looking for success in regards to a relationship and commitment, right? You're putting things to an end because you feel that that's the only way you can preserve your own self is to put this relationship to an end. You're going to take a, a new journey. You're going to have a new beginning, right? With a, with a creative, beautiful um, new beginning. And the Princess of Cups can also, can also talk about um, your feels, right? You're going to have a new beginning and a new journey in regards to your feels. Eight of Cups says you are absolutely walking away either from a fire sign or with complete determination or completely determined to walk away from a fire sign. Nine of Cups, you're in pursuit of happiness, wishes fulfilled, comfort, and happy and satisfaction in your life. Queen of Swords says you are cutting out somebody. You are leaving them out in the cold. Not without a little anxiety, though, but you're absolutely putting a 100% end to things because nothing ends something like death. You are seeking authority, control, establishment, and structure in your life, looking to manifest a brand new beginning where you can come into, into where you can bring the Ten of Cups mentality into your life, right? Harmony in your life, in your relationships, um, values alignment, just all the good things that a relationship is supposed to be. Prince of Cups says that um, you are um, either intending to be a knight in shining armor to someone else or you are entering into a phase in your life where you are maybe becoming your own knight in shining armor thinking about it hard in the hangman prince of swords about to break loose and tell somebody about it judgment there you are executing all of this Five of Cups, walking the fuck away from a love relationship because you have absolute mental clarity. Sun card says that you see clearly for the first time in a long time and you know what's going to make you happy and it's not this. 
Six of Swords, regretful, but necessary transition. Knight of Pentacles, a sense of self-sufficiency and a culmination to the situation by which now you can rest, relax, and recuperate with temperance coming in, saying that now you have balance, moderation, and purpose in your life. That is your reading, Libra. I sure do hope that you enjoyed it. Let me do this public service announcement about ads for you, okay? Because I've had a lot of a lot of comments about the ads in um on, on not only my YouTube channel, but other YouTube channels. So my friend, if this is where we part ways and you don't want to hang around for this, thank you so much. If you like the video, like it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Thank you. My, all my gratitude to you as a subscriber. If you want a personal rating, you can hook it up, TaurusStarTarot.com. And uh, here we go. So this PSA is about um, ads on YouTube videos, right? So when you see ads on YouTube videos, it means that that, that YouTube channel has been monetized. When I first started this channel, I had no idea that you could get paid for doing this. And then I, when I reached a certain number of subscribers and a certain number of views, um, I got an email from YouTube that said that they'd like to pay me to allow ads on my videos. And I was like, well, hell yeah, right? So when a creator, a creator, that's what YouTube ca calls people that put out the videos. When a creator reaches a certain amount of views and subscribers, YouTube will allow them to monetize your channel, right? The creator of that video gets paid on average between 10 and 25 cents for every three second ad that you see, or actually every, every, every three seconds it takes for you to skip an ad, right? So instead of getting irritated with the ads, reset your mind frame to understand that in exchange for getting free tarot card readings or information or entertainment or whatever it is that you do on YouTube, the creator of that video is actually getting paid between 10 and 25 cents by YouTube for every ad that you see. So know that your three seconds of time until you can skip the ad is the exchange for the free information or the entertainment. If there are not ads on the videos that you're watching, either the channel is not eligible for monetization or the video contains previously copyrighted material. Some creators don't monetize because they use the channel to create income in other ways, such as selling products or services. So I don't know about other creators, but it takes me about two hours to put up a single video from prep to publication. That's about 24 hours for all 12 zodiac signs once a month, right? So getting a small payout from YouTube is actually really nice. So, you know, just, just endure the three second ad till you can skip and um, love, light, and peace to all of you. Namaste.